We're at the AFL-CIO convention in Los Angeles talking about how work has changed and how life for workers in America has changed. With us is a worker who until recently was working at Walmart. What's your name and how do you want to be identified? My name is Giovanni Gomez and you guys can call me Giovanni. Giovanni Gomez until very recently worked at Walmart. Um, tell us first, what m made you decide to go and get a job? I was just looking for work. I was actually working at fast food and um, I thought I'd give retail a try. So I applied at Walmart. And what was it like? What were you actually involved in doing? Well, when I first started was in 2008 and I actually liked the job. I was an overnight uh, maintenance worker. But um, I then later on moved to the daytime positions as an electronics associate and so on. I went on to different departments and it was in like um, 2009 or 10 when the store started to completely change. Everything would start going downhill. Uh, respect for management became an issue and um, hours. There was less full-time jobs available to associates and Walmart started to hire mainly part-time workers and although you were hired part-time, they would still give you 40 hours a week. But then when you're about to meet that time after working three months, I believe, 40 hours a week, you would have to get changed. Your position would have to be changed to full-time by law but Walmart then cuts your hours for that week and you start the process all over again. There came a time when you decided you wanted to go back to school. What happened? Um, well, I wanted to pursue a career as a pharmacy technician, so I was looking into school. You know, working at Walmart, it was very hard for me to actually decide to go to school because I had to work all the hours that I needed to make sure that I have enough money to pay my bills and my rent. And going to school just added pressure of missing less work, having less money to pay my bills. So yeah, I actually ended up going to a trade school and figured out my schedule that I wanted to choose for school. So I went to my store manager and a shift manager that was there in the office to ask them to change my, my working schedule so I can go to school and still work a full-time job. And, um, he actually at first said that he might have to drop me back down to part-time because I didn't want to, because I wasn't going to work 40 hours, I was going to work 38. So at what point and why did you decide to work with the Our Walmart campaign? Um, I was interested in it um, due to a friend that I have that was a 17-year associate at Walmart and he was fired for, for organizing in the store. And I, just a lot of the stuff I saw in the store um, people crying because they don't have enough to, to provide for their family or for themselves. And just the disrespect that goes on on the sales floor. Management has no respect. They just want to demand, 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 but the company doesn't want to give anything in return. Then you got involved in a strike. What was that? In May 30th through June 10th, I went to Arkansas. We actually took off from Pico, California. We boarded a bus and it was a hundred of us and we did a three-day route to Bentonville, Arkansas to go straight to the home office of Walmart in Bentonville. And well, pre the previous year, a group of associates went and Karen Casey, she's president of HR, she actually came out to speak to associates so that they can address these issues to her. But this year, we went close to um, Walmart's annual shareholder meeting and they were completely shut down. They didn't want to come out. When we showed up that day, it was 300 associates nationwide, and Walmart headquarters did not choose to come outside. And later on that day after our action, we found out that Walmart actually went and filed a restraining order to the protesters. And they didn't say that 300 workers were outside. They said that six workers were outside. <laughs> but that actually failed. And we still kept the fight going, we still visited them, but we were never acknowledged for what we were there for. And what's happened to you since? Well, when I returned from work after the ULP strike, which is a protected, um, lawfully protected strike that I can take part of, they, they don't have the right to replace me, they don't have the right to fire me. But two weeks after that, um, I was called into the management office and they actually fired me for my attendance on their calls and the dates that were listed on my exit interview were actually the dates that I was on strike. 
So at the end of the exit interview, I actually asked the shift manager if she can, I just wanted to make things clear for myself. I asked her, are you guys firing me for going on strike? And she openly said yes. So what do you do now? Well, now I'm, I'm still involved with the campaign. I, I'm doing actions and in support of, now at first it was just the people in my store and myself, but now that I've met all these other workers, it's, it's a bigger picture. I fight for everyone, for all the workers, even the ones that are going to, going to Walmart in the future. And are you ever sorry for getting involved? No, I don't regret it at all. It's actually made me grow as an adult. I've learned a lot of things that I can give to, to my friends and my family. It's developed a lot of courage. And, yeah. and what difference would being part of a union make to you and to workers like your, what would it do to your, for your life and your life at work? Well, it would provide a better paying job, more equality. Well, work would be um, acknowledged to those that work hard. And there would just be a borderline as to what they can and can't do and what they can and can't get away with. And would it help you in your negotiations for things like time to go to school, time off? Would it help you not to have to go through individually to meet with each of your bosses? Being part of a union would provide a better job for me and it would make me more confident about pursuing a career and going to school. One last thing would be, do you have any um, message for workers out there, maybe other Walmart workers who look at what happened to you and say, well, I don't want to get involved. I might lose my job. I would say no matter what, what um, you have to sacrifice, it will be worth it. Just because they're a high retailer and the biggest business in the world doesn't mean that you don't have the right to speak out. Doesn't mean that you can't change things for yourself and for your coworkers. So just man up and get strong and speak out. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. That's great. Giovanni, appreciate it.